When we flew over the viaduct, we saw one of the most fussed over shapes in geometry called triangles. And they're so fussed over, I say, because mathematicians weren't happy just calling them triangles. They wanted to have different types of triangles, so many different types. No, they couldn't keep it simple like circles or squares. You just have circles or squares, right? Very simple, plain Jane words. But you've got a crazy number of types of triangles. So why all the fuss? Well, that's because triangles have a very broad definition. Let me give you an example. To draw a square, what do you need? You need four lines of exactly the same length and four exact angles of 90 degrees. But for a triangle, if you manage to bring three lines together somehow, like this, like this, like this, all of these are triangles. To put order to this chaos, mathematicians said, okay, let's classify triangles based on just two things, how long their sides are and what the angles between their sides are. Let me start with an example that covers both first, a perfect regular shape. We've got to have one for triangles also. With all equal sides and all equal angles, we draw it like this and we call it an equilateral triangle. Three equal sides, three equal angles. And if you the angles of an equilateral triangle, they are equal and always equal to 60 degrees. And now let's talk about the rest of the triangles, irregular triangles. And yes, if you look around you, you see them everywhere. Irregular triangles are there everywhere, all around you in objects. When you take a stroll in the park, when you pass by a construction site, everywhere. So first, let's talk about triangles categorized based on their sides. We said that they can be equilateral like we spoke about before. Then they can be isosceles, which is a very, very complicated way of saying that exactly two sides are equal. Isosceles. How would you draw it? Maybe one like this. Yeah. This is called the base and these two sides, they're called the legs. Now they're called legs with good reason. Okay. They're not randomly called legs. The complicated name isosceles is a mix of skelos, which means leg, and isos, which means equal, so equal legs. Yeah. And what can the last case be? No sides are equal. Exactly. If all three sides are different to each other, we say that it's a scalene triangle. That doesn't even sound English. Well, that's because it isn't. Scalene is derived from an even fancier word, a Greek word, skalinos, and it merged with another word along the way, skolios, which means bent, and it came out of the language mixer as scalene, which if you think about it now, is actually simpler to say than skalinos and skolios, right? So scalene triangle. Here, all the three sides are unequal and due to its inequality, any side can be considered as a base, and legs are like not even relevant here because legs need to be equal to each other, right? Practically. So, equilateral, isosceles, scalene are three types of triangles and I'm sure you understood it really well. They are triangles categorized based on the length of their sides. Now, I told you there's one more type of classification. Do you remember that? Yes, based on the angles created by the sides. The names are pretty straightforward and I'll help you visualize it really fast, very fast. I need the help of our old friends, the three types of angles I introduced you to before. So can we have them here, please? Acute angle, right angle and obtuse angle. Now watch, all I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect the third side to these two sides, one here one here, one here. And what do we have? An acute angle triangle, a right angle triangle and an obtuse angle triangle known to their friends as acute right and obtuse triangle for easy call out sake. The angled part can just be left out. Okay, so these are the three types of triangles that we have based on the measure of the angle between their sides. 
So I have three types of triangles here. Let me define them to you technically. It's my responsibility to do that as a teacher. So let's start. This one is a triangle created by an acute angle. So it gets a name, acute triangle. This one is a triangle where one angle is a right angle. You can see that with a little square at the bottom. So it's called a right triangle. And the last one, which is made by this big angle, an obtuse angle, is called an obtuse triangle. Really simple, right? So if you can connect and learn this way, nothing in geometry will actually be tough. It will be what it really needs to be. Very simple, really easy.